just Wednesday, Vlogtober day 22. It's probably about four or so in the afternoon and I came upstairs to the sewing room to, let me try and get a little bit better light maybe. Let me turn this way for you. Um, yeah, so I have come upstairs to clear my table, to get just a little functioning room. I've moved a few things out of the way, so I have some space here to just work on this dress. Ta-da. Uh, and I've opened up the pattern pieces. Now my main fabric is uh, narrow, so I wanted to measure the bottom of the skirt to see if it's gonna fit. I think I measured it in the, it's about 28 and a quarter inches at the widest point for one half panel. And this is a seamed skirt. So two fronts, two backs, which is helpful. I don't have to put anything on the fold because if I had to, that it just wouldn't work. Um, because even though I have six yards in length, it's narrow. So Pete, it's gonna take up a lot. Uh, hopefully I can fit all of that on there. I'm going to have to also measure out how long each of those pieces are going to be. So if it's gonna fit on six yards, um, I think it might, but then will I have enough for the bodice? So I still have those decisions to make. Um, I also wanted to look and see what the finished bust measurements were on the pattern pieces uh, because I always fall between between my bust and waist not always exactly matchy matchy to what they say but sometimes it fits me anyway so unfortunately the waist the top in you here is sparky she comes up here and just walks around walks around walks around sounds like she's tap dancing um, but no finished waistline measurements on this pattern anywhere. Usually I find that on the pattern pieces, the bust is there. And of course they never ever put them on the pattern envelope, which is so annoying. I mean, they give you the finished measurements for the back length to waist. It's like, that is like one of the least necessary things because it's so easy to lengthen and shorten a pattern. But the thing you really want to check is the actual width, bust, waist, hip, things like that. Those should be on here. Why these pattern companies don't get that, I don't know, it drives me nuts. So anyway, switch hands here, hands getting a little tired. So I've got it laid out here. I think I'm probably gonna end up tracing off the pieces I need. I'm gonna do two different bodice sizes, I think the 20 and the 22, and see which of those fits best and if the waist fits better on either of those. Um, a lot of times with most of my nicer clothes, I will wear a, you know, a girdle and things underneath, but the style of this dress doesn't seem like it calls for it that much. And if I don't have to do that, because I need a new one and I don't want to go buy a new one right now. Um, so if I can just get away with not needing that, since it has, you know, a full skirt and everything, I'm gonna go for that. Um, so we'll see. But I've laid it out here on the table and we'll just see. I'll have to bring my fabric up and see how that's all gonna work. Um, I'm gonna run downstairs and measure my fabric to make sure it's at least 28 and a quarter. Uh, that is the width on the 22, if I opted to go to the 22. And I could always taper it down a little bit, as long as it's not too much. I can always, uh, you know, fit it to waist and just not um, come out as far. But I just have to make sure that I have enough, if six yards, how long. I've got to measure the length now of these pieces, because I definitely want the bodice to get in there. And I have that line that goes across that's faded that I have to eliminate. So that's going to be about that much of a chunk that comes off. So we'll see how that goes. Quick update, I'm sitting here um, supervising my son's first uh, making of my spaghetti sauce. 
recipe passed down from my aunt and he did really good showed him how to, I we've talked about it many times and I've he's watched me do it but this time I uh, supervised him and let him add all the seasonings and everything um, my aunt was married to an Italian man whose mother was from Italy so the recipe came from her and it has my entire life been my at one of my absolute favorite things to eat was her spaghetti sauce you could just come in the house and that smell to me just every time I make it it smells like her house I absolutely love it super simple and beats every kind of jar of sauce out there um, I've made perfect versions of it for nice you know dinners, uh, uh, more elaborate Italian dinners. And then I've also done like super quick, easy versions of it, which is what we've done tonight. Actually, this one's even a borderline because in a pinch, I can always adjust it. But this this one tonight is really good. It even has the wine in it. I don't always have the wine. Um, and if you don't like to cook with wine, you can make it. I've made it plenty of times without. Uh, so yeah, I love that. It is my favorite thing in the world um so i just wanted to say that i pulled out my fabric and measured the width it's 31 inches so i definitely have the width to fit the skirt panels on and i measured the length so for four of, of the skirt pattern pieces the overall length I need at least 41 inches. So I multiplied that and it comes out to be 4.6 yards of fabric. So that leaves me with a little over a yard. And also again, depending on where that fade mark hits, that is going to affect things. So I'm really gonna have to lay this out and see if it's going to work. Um, I can't remember where that fade hits because it's basically like coming, you know, splitting it in half. Or not in half, but it's gonna be a split. So it's more like instead of having six continuous yards, it's two pieces of how much I'm not sure each one would be. So I have to take that into consideration. I don't think the bodice and the sleeves would take too much, much more than a yard and whatever. 0.6 so that'd be about a yard and a third one and one third yards of 31 inch um, the sleeves are the flutter sleeves so they're going to take up a little bit more than a normal sleeve the only way I'm going to know is to lay it out and I'm going to need to do that ASAP then I have to decide do I want to I would definitely think I would want to use the vintage fabric for the bodice before the skirt because the skirt's getting covered with the tulle anyway. Um, so yeah, any opinions? Anybody have any opinions or suggestions on this? Um, should I make the fabric? The other, do this, would I have to do this? Oh, it really doesn't matter until I sort it out. I guess um, so yeah but anyway so far it will fit with wise and I will check where that how many yards in that's the next thing I think I have to measure is how many yards in is the um, fade line because that's a good four inches I, I really it's so weird how like how did that even happen it's unusual also this fabric it's not like a very solid satin it has it's like one-way stretch it stretches widthwise, not lengthwise or diagonally but it stretches that way so that's a good thing for like the bodice and all it will have a little I can do it slightly more fitted if I wanted um, because it does have stretch um, anyway, yeah, that's the update on the fabric. So I hope that is going to work. Um, I probably won't get to take the rest of those measurements tonight, but I did take the fabric upstairs. So I'm going to, 
tomorrow I can look at it and see where the fade is and how many yards are in each side of it because that is basically what I need to know.